This is Twit. So first of all, I'm really stoked that you brought an audio app because you let me geek out on so much audio. I thought, well, I should bring an audio app. And uh, again, I have been a big proponent of getting your work done from mobile devices, content creation from mobile devices. So my app for the arena this week, Audio Evolution Mobile studio. Now, this is a full-fledged recording solution. We've seen a number of apps where you can kind of record, you know, some notes or some memos, and then you can kind of trim them up a little bit. This is a full multi-track recording solution, which also has some of the best support that I've ever seen for USB hardware. So if your phone doesn't support USB audio or there's some other weird funky compatibility issues or you're running just an older device, uh, I think a lollipop on up. I could be wrong there. Uh, they they should have it in their notes. Um, they also have created their own custom USB uh, USB driver that you can utilize uh, hardware to plug into. So when you plug in a USB audio device, they'll ask you, do you want to use Android's USB audio processing or do you want to use our custom solution? And more often than not, the custom solution has worked better. But so you can uh, you can have multiple tracks of audio. There's support for MIDI sequencing. You can have drum machines built in, other virtual instruments. You can have looped playback if you're trying to edit music. Um, but for me, I've also found it to be a huge benefit for spoken word audio recording. So, you know, like using the Go Mic Mobile that I, I showed off in the hardware segment, you plug that into this app right here and you have a full studio grade solution in your pocket ready to go. You want to do some podcasting on the fly. This is so much easier than what we have. We used to have to do with portable recorders and getting the audio files out. Uh, again, there's no file management anymore. You don't have to record on like a Zoom or some kind of memo recorder. You can record directly to the to the device that's also going to do all of the editing, all of the trimming, all of your music, and then use that device with the internet connection to upload that directly to whatever service you use for your fin uh, finished product. So this thing has been a huge help for me in getting a lot of work done quickly, on the go, in the field. Um, and it's just an insane, uh, a s insane collection of plugins and benefits, sample rates. It supports Wave, MP3, uh, FLAC, AUG. Uh, you, can, you, uh, you can have an unlimited number of tracks if your phone is powerful enough for it. Uh, fade, uh, virtual instruments, and then plugins per channel too. So it, it's pretty incredible what you can accomplish uh, when, uh, when you're trying to get this stuff done. And this is usually something that you know, we would only see sort of an iPhone version of. We don't have as many of these full-fledged uh, video and audio editing solutions on on Android. This is the best one that I've found for actually getting some polished work done. Yeah, it's not bad. And, it's, and I'm literally I'm learning this as you're talking about it. So I'm like, how do I find an instrument? Oh, there it is. There's the instrument. How do I get the piano roll? Oh, there's a piano roll. I mean, something deep like this uh, on a smartphone, it's going to take you a little bit of time to kind of understand the, you know, really get your, your feet underneath you and understand totally. the flow of it and everything like that. But this has everything that you would, you would need in a full fledged kind of music production environment. Well, and even from you just poking around, I mean, I yeah. saw what menus you were going through and stuff. If you have any experience with right. a DAW, um, a desktop grade uh, audio editing uh, piece of software, the learning curve on this is not very steep. Um, if you don't have a lot of experience, this is going to be an intimidating app to pick up just totally blind. But from the last time that I was joining the app arena, I mean, this goes hand in hand with me using something like power director. I like you can, you can finish 4k professional looking 4k video on the device that actually shot the video. Um, so I, I used this, uh, I was at my sister's graduation and I recorded the audio of the choir singing her alma mater. And so I used this to actually clean up the audio a little bit from the mics on my LG G6. I was using the G6 at the time. Used that as the bed in Power Director for all of the video that I was shooting. And before the graduation ceremony was done, I already had a 4K video of my sister's graduation uploaded to the cloud for all of my family and friends. You know, like those are the kinds of things that are so much more accessible now and so much easier to do. And I don't think people fully realize, like, you have an opinion, oh, well, I use iMovie on my Mac or something like that. 
like you, you know you don't even need to do that you don't need to offload files anymore if you're really trying to get something cut in the moment there's an immediacy there which is pretty wonderful considering that this is only i what it's a seven dollar app on the google play store it's it's not uh a, a, you know in a, a painful piece of software to pick up yeah seven dollars there's a trial so you can check it out and and play around with it a little bit uh, you're going to need some time to poke through here, you know, for sure. Um, but totally. it looks like it's a really powerful um, sequencer, you know. Digital audio workstation, well, you can record audio straight in through the microphone or do the MIDI instruments or a combination of both. It's got a click track. It's got all that stuff. Or, and, and more than that, it will allow you to go from mics, input from the headphone jack, virtual instruments, MIDI, and USB. So I've connected this to... Uh, you know, uh, like handy recorders, like like a Zoom. So you can use four track from a Zoom. I've used it with Focusrite. You can plug a Focusrite directly into your phone. Um, this this takes us a huge step up from where we were in terms of audio. Like I said, so many apps like video. Oh, you can trim your video. Well, I want to stick videos together. Oh, well, that's too hard. <laughs> right. Like, it's not though. <laughs> These things are crazy power. Your phones are crazy powerful. And now it's the same thing with audio. Like uh, I've got a memo recorder and I can trim the head and tail. Well, that's not good enough. I want more. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, cool stuff. Audio Evolution Mobile Studio uh, trial. Also six ninety nine for the full version. There's a bunch of, when you first load it, there's a bunch of sound fonts that you can download a big pack. That'll bring in all of the sound uh, instruments and stuff. And then I think you can even shop for more. Or if you happen to, you know, collect sound font files on your own, you can just draw. I'm sure you could transfer those into the file system. And yeah, I've got a ton of it. old acid and fruity yes. loop files that did just fine. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, awesome stuff. Right on. Uh, Audio Evolution Mobile Studio.